It is Y for Yazoo. That is a nice Y. <laughs> That's the best Y that I've ever seen in my life. And we're live. We're back with another One Life event. This is Operation Battle for Karatan. It is your standard One Life event that you've seen me cast plenty of times now. Tonight, we've got the allies trying to control. They're going to be capturing and trying to control Karatan. Uh, they're going to try claw it away from the Axis hands. Tonight, clans-wise, on the German side, we have the Partisans, Easy Company, PIB, uh, the 5th GB Division, and I believe that's it. I uh, don't know who this is. His clan tag hasn't loaded yet. And on the allies, we have PIB, BR1, and I think that might be it on the allies. Yeah, it is. We've got a couple of people who have no clan tag, so there might be randoms, there might be step-ins, who knows. But yeah, so it's your standard One Life event. What can I say? If you're watching this on YouTube, as always, please do like and subscribe. We're so close to hitting 1,000 subs. It would mean the world to me if you could drop some support there. Um... I'm sorry if my energy levels are a little bit low tonight. I'm a, I'm a little bit burnt out. Uh, last night I got drunk, and I'm still a little bit drunk. Uh, I'm a, I think I've got a cold as well coming on, so my energy levels are a little bit sapped. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the Battle of Karatan. The objective tonight is the Allies to assault the town, push out the German forces, hold it, and cut off any further reinforcements so then the future allied forces can use Karatan as a staging post to continue through and have no hindrance. Um, the rules are your standard. I'm just looking through the list now. It's your standard one life event using the EUF, the European... What, what's the group called? The European? I always forget his name. The EUF. It's the European Unified front or something which is a group of clans and organizers who do these one life events and uh yeah there are a few objectives the allies have to do again i'm left in the dark with a lot of these uh details i'm giving a lot of details to stop the clans from knowing what either team has in their full arsenal i can actually hear a few shots already i can actually hear a few shots already I'm actually unsure if the realism mod is engaged currently. Um, obviously, we've just had the armor overhaul drop. Uh, so a lot of the mobs are broken at the moment. So what would usually be using would be the uh, realism mod. We'll probably be using the realism mod. Um, but I don't think it's been used now because a lot of the mods have been broken now that the armor overall has come out. I'm really excited for the post and Realism mod to be updated to work with the armor overhaul. These One Life events are going to be so much more uh, engaging and better now that the uh, tanks are working in their full capability. It's going to make these events so much more interesting. You forgot what my job is? My new job? While we wait for the game to like kick off a little bit? My new job is I'm a uh, digital marketing uh, executive for a uh, industrial company. I handle all their online marketing, be that their website design, their social media accounts. I do graphic design for them now. The, the, I'm, do, I'm doing video design for them now. I'm basically doing everything uh, what could relate to marketing. I just designed them a brand new brochure. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, in these one life events... We get things like that. Team kills happen quite frequently because the name tags and all that don't don't appear. Uh, local chat is only used, but obviously in these one life events, I say every time the the action comes in burst, we'll have a lot of action come in there like a few minutes, and then there's a big lull as both sides have to reorganize. They have to count their casualties, tend to their wounded, and get ready for the next offensive or defense. And uh, that is how these One Life events go. Uh, if you're wondering as well, I am casting this event at the same time on Twitch. Be sure to check that out. Twitch.tv. I uh, stream a lot of postscript in there. Uh, we are running a five-minute delay today for this event. Uh, so, yeah. 
but congrats, uh, uh, good luck, congrats, good luck on the exam, Circles. I'm sure you'll pass. I've been, I had to do an exam Thursday, Friday, no, Friday. I did a maths exam, and I still need to do an English exam. I have to do monthly, I have to do monthly exams now for English and maths to make sure I'm not stupid and lying. I don't know why I can't just do one. But apparently I have to do them monthly now because uh, my new job, the uh, best company I've ever worked for, honestly, I've never been treated with such respect like the company I've worked with now. They've actually put me on two, two university-level courses. They put me on two university-level courses uh, for um, project design and growth and marketing and also uh, 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 marketing management. Um, so yeah. So we've had the first objective taken by the Allies. They so have captured a mortar's nest. They've got one of the objectives done. This is one part of Carantine that I really wish had more interaction with in-game. This little town over here, there is no objectives based in this little town, but it's such a well-designed town. It's honestly one of the best parts of the map. The The buildings are all nicely laid out. There's uh, uh, little bits of detail added everywhere, like the random uh, barrels you see in front of me, the sandboxes, the signs, the carts, the buildings. You can go inside them all. There's good angles to peak there's nice foliage that sounds around the town i wish this part of caratan had some kind of objective for it you actually got the bear achievement without any cheating but you gotta be super lucky oh yeah you can get the you can get the bear achievement the polish bear achievement in hoi without cheating um it's one of the ones you actually don't need to cheat for to get um the problem is it's just a fucking long ass achievement and i i just don't have the desire to do it right now i just don't have the desire to do it that's one of the achievements where it's just like, I just have no interest to do it. Because you got to, like, um... you gotta you got to survive the war. you got to kill everyone. you basically got to kill Russia. Then you got to kill Italy. you got to power drop your troops in special locations while holding certain parts of land. It's a, it's a pain. All right, Gabriel. It's going to... Pretty soon, we're gonna, once we get contact, so I'm broad uh, easy reload, the barber uh, and exactly easy nippy here. To the rest of the, uh, <laughs> I didn't even see this guy, this guy just appeared. Out of the foliage, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, so what happened to his back? Okay, that's a glitch. I've never okay, that's a bit of a glitch exactly there. To to the uh, the and we're not using mind. the realism mod either, yeah. I can so there's a little bit of a glitch going on with his um, little backpack. I don't think we're using the realism mod. I'm pretty sure we're not. But yeah, there's a little bit of a glitch there when he pruned his um, his his equipment went away. Yeah, it kind of like disappears inside his body. Snazzy, fix that. We could hear a few shots going on though. Let's head on over to see where those shots are coming from. I wouldn't be surprised if we have some Germans on rooftops over here. Do we have any Germans on rooftops? Hopefully I do. Big windows. Fuck them. He's actually on the inside. They are moving to the right. They are moving to the southwest. Copy. Enemy moving southwest. But they stopped because I fired. No, they are still moving. They are still moving. No, they are still moving. Yeah, yeah, they are moving. Agamem, do you have eyes? God damn, no, Russian. I'm pushing the way. <laughs> Goddamn bush. Winfred is calling out though. So we've got a little bit of contact going on here. You've heard the German defenders saying that they've seen some allied movements on the uh, outskirts of the town through the fields. They've put a few shots down range, going over the heads of the Americans, no doubt. I haven't seen any casualties go out yet. Checking to our 70 right now. It's a nice long line of sight. Got a small German yeah. squad here. Yeah, reacting to the gunshots, trying to figure out what is going on. Hotel de Strasbourg. Uh, Brasserie restaurant specialist. That's what that means, right? So this part of the game where it's like, look at the church in the distance, man. Look at that. 
just peeking over the horizon there, just above the trees. What a shot that is, right in the middle. Just peeking above the trees and between the buildings. Five minute delay, I know. Nothing I can do. I will be cutting down on the streams where I do have to do a delay, though. I will say. Um, if if I ever have two events that happen like simultaneously and one has a delay and one doesn't, I will always go for the event without the delay. Even if I don't get a lot of views on Twitch, it's just a, it's just a pain in the ass. Because I, I still like having that interaction with uh, with chat, especially during these one life events. Where we do get uh, pieces of ac uh, pieces of the uh, match where there's not a lot of action going on, where it's actually very quiet as we're just waiting. It's nice to have that interaction. This guy is the uh, uh, backpack is staying. So I guess it was just that one dude. Oh no, he disappeared. It also disappeared. Weird. And now it's back. Scheiße, jetzt habe ich nachgeladen, ich idiot. Ah, okay, das wusste ich gar nicht. I don't speak German. Do we have any Germans in Jack? Ein any Jahr translations we can get? Oh, I actually forgot to check uh, uh, in the rules how long the event is tonight. How much time they have. Negative push off his objective. uns. Doesn't say, but I do have access to how many respawn waves they have, and there goes a shot. We've got a few shots going out. Oh, you can, uh, you can yeah, see some movement in the far distance. Some bodies moving through the trees in the far, far distance there. That's a long shot. That's got to be about 400 meters, I would say. Very long shots. From the bushes, look at this. Look at the fire just ripping through the uh, bushes there. Thompson and Browning both opening up there. Firing through the bushes, taking the Germans off guard as I was firing a lot. Shots returning, got that MP40 returning fire there. And there we go, we've got our first little bit of close combat action. So the Americans launch a little bit of an ambush. Don't think there's been a casualty on either side yet, though. That was uh, the partisans getting very lucky then. See, they got a little bit of damage dealt to them. And meanwhile, we've actually got some. I, I have been not been paying attention, but we've actually had some contact moving in. We'll have to have the, the nameplates on now because we've got a lot of contact going on as the allies have actually pushed in on the southern side of Karatam. They managed to break through the defenders over here with a big push. I actually not sure how they did that. I wonder if they did stealth knife kills. We've also got a BR1 over here assaulting a little outskirts farmstead. They've cleared out one of the buildings with a 5th GB over here trying to defend. They're both down to two. Good shots there by the MG42 spraying down the uh, farm side here, getting two kills on Cave and Rusty Broom both go down, putting himself in a good position there. Oh, and he gets shot from the side, though. Unable to cover both his uh, flanks. So we've got Gorbanch all on his own now. Yeah, I shot it three times. He's lagging the fuck out. I'm alone here. <laughs> you are. You are alone. Let's head back over to town and see how the BR1, the Allied... 
are doing now that they've secured a little bit of a foothold in Caratan on the south side. See the barber went down there as a little pickle. Ooh. Big car I eight shot there. Takes down one of the American soldiers. Little pickles in a uh, rifle fight with Pope. M1 Grand. Ooh, big grenade there. Just goes a little bit too far. Panzer Grenadier takes a little bit of that shrapnel. And little pickle, he goes down to the second grenade that's been, been tossed. But hey, Yaz, why won't you find yourself a clan to play with like this? Well, I don't need a clan. I do recommend people join clans, but I like being a neutral party as a content creator. I like I like positioning myself as like a neutral party. If I was in a clan, I can just imagine the amount of headaches that's going to cause. Looks like uh, Gorbanch wasn't able to hold down. He got pushed by three bodies up here. He did take one American with him. Oh, no, he didn't. That was an admin. Oh, no, he did. Adams. Can we respond, though? So Gorbanch goes down as the Allies are making a big push into the south side. You can see uh, reinforcements trying to trickle forward here, pushing along the main roads, pushing through these hedgerows. The Allies who are remaining on the south side of town, who broke through that initial line of defense on the town itself, they've been thinned down very gradually. Only Green Weenie, Old Guy, and Walmart Brand, Walmart brand Metallica. Old Guy, he goes down, and it's only Walmart left... As you can hear those uh, automatic guns firing out there. Partisans falling back. A little bit of a... I thought that might be in team code, but it wasn't. That's was an M1 Grand. That was a long-range M1 Grand shot, probably from puppies or someone over in that direction. Takes down lies. The Partisans have retreated back to try to secure Caratan itself. You see Cry Wolf and Doom here looking around, trying to find out where any allies might still be uh, hiding, lingering. Sitting in corners. You got Green Weenie over here, popping shots off. No quite sure what he's shooting at. Did he just shoot at Walmart, or is he just trying to bait? He might just be trying to bait. Oh, a grenade lands right on him though. What a grenade that was! Just perfectly placed over the wall into the bush. Green Weenie, he goes down, and the partisans have done a good job mopping up the open hole here in the uh, defense. For Caratan, they've plugged that hole. And now the Allies once again have to reform. So, no, no, understand of German, beyond you. I know 999. Can't see shit. Hey, welcome to Postscriptum. It, ta it will take you a while to start being able to see things. If you're new to Postscriptum, yeah, seeing, seeing stuff is a pain in the ass. This ain't no Call of Duty. This ain't Battlefield where you've got like a million things like uh, on your on your hood to help you uh, see stuff happening. In this, you need to have good eyes and you need to be paranoid of every single bush, head throw, plane of grass. Good boy, give a shot. No idea what the Allies are shooting over here. Point one has been captured. Hedgerows are not blown up. Hedgerows? Hedgehogs. God damn it. Look, I, I, again, I've had a... I, 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 I'm kind of fucked at the moment. What can I say? I'm kind of like a, a, a struggling. I'm going puppies and frill here. So they're pushing down this dirt road. The Drew and the Fallen. Coming in behind them. The puppy's just spotting a uh, partisan defender there. Crossing. Yeah. Oh, Look at that MG42. Uh, 42 just open up fire there. Puppies goes down, the fallen through, both caught, and that's a big grenade, that's going to get both of them there. Enrock went down, I can't remember who it was who took down Enrock, but maybe opening fire a little bit too soon there from those allied forces, gave away their position and they just got mopped down very quickly. 
attacked by the MG42 and those grenades from the flank. But welcome, fail. Let's see if we can find the MG42. Here he is. Oh, it's Nep again. And Super Soldier. Ain't looking too super anymore. Ain't looking too super. Super is down, copy. Uh, uh super's down. Other, so other guy down? That's uh, yeah, the, 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 other, uh, the medic's down. The barber went down. I can't wait <sighs> until these trucks as well, things like this, you can get in and drive. Like the tr this tractors that you can like drive. I think it'd be so cool if a uh, periscope just spent, you know, just one guy just updated the model for these random trucks on the map and just had the ability to commandeer them for the war effort. You feel me? Just commandeer them. So we had a, a burst of action there. Again, these one life events, you have burst of action. And then you have a lot of low point. Look at the church. Nothing's rendered in that distance apart from the church. It's so funny. Uh, we had those bursts of action. And then we'll have a period where both teams have to reorganize again. And that's what we're going through right now. Point one has been captured. Hedgehogs are blown up. So the allies are doing uh, making good progress right now. They've taken out mortars. They secure the first point that leads into the town. And they're starting to clear out those roads. Allowing for their tanks to start pushing in as well. Starting to see a lot of familiar names here. These one life events you'll start to see uh, from the the events I cast. You'll start to see a lot of familiar names here. It's usually the same clans and people playing in these one life events. Oh, it's a Kugelwagen. Somebody needs to grab in it and go for a race. If you haven't seen yet. I love that. I don't think Pope speaks German. He's just here like, ah. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, the latest, uh, the newest YouTube video I put out um, was the from the Kubelwagen Cup, where 16 Kubelwagens were racing each other in an F1 style event. It's really fun. It's going to be an ongoing event. Oh, a grenade goes out there. I think Crouch is going to go down. Yeah, he goes down, blasted there. That's all down to Rez. Rez throws a pineapple out himself. Throws a second pineapple out himself. Throws it on his uh, down comrades, though. Just a little bit further. Jackson style. Checking out the bodies. As the partisans once again fall by, they deal a little bit of damage. They fall back. Reorganize themselves again. These one life events, that's how you have to play. You have to play a little bit smart. You can't just run and gun. You have to uh, uh, preserve your life as long as possible. You have to play the objectives. What are these poles doing? Uh, can someone explain to me what the purpose of these poles are? Right here. What, what are they even doing? What do they power? What is that? Warmer brand of Pedalica, yeah. Some of the names, man. Some of the names. I'm at your walls, Reese. And no fire. I think they're moving toward preparing for attack. I'm hungry. But yeah, I, did, I, I got my first paycheck yesterday, and yeah, my god, did I use it well. We went out for a meal to celebrate one of our friend's 30th birthday. Really nice restaurant, Alice in Wonderland themed. A, a, a classy place, you know, it's not just your typical pub, it's more, up. it's not like super fancy, but it's like, a, it's a nice place to go. Nice environment, nice ambiance to it. And uh, I ordered Hunter's Chicken with bacon covered in, oh, I can't remember, 
Coming in like a, a really nice sauce, sweet barbecue sauce, and uh, chunky chips, and peas, and eat the peas. With cheesy garlic bread as a side order, and halloumi fries. Oh, God, it was so good. It was so fucking good, man. I had such a good time yesterday, and I was just knocking back the drinks after one after another. Started with a uh, uh, whiskey and coke. Ordered a bottle of Prosecco to share. And then uh, drinking side by side with the Prosecco more. Uh, I actually went onto the rum at that point. Rum and Cokes. Double Kraken rum and Cokes. Knocking them back with the Prosecco on top of that. Oh, it was so nice. Money well spent. I haven't, I haven't drunk in a long time. Like, out. I haven't got... Yeah, I haven't drunk to that scale in a long time. And it was nice just having the money and the ability just to do that once again. And, bro, I had such a good time yesterday. I had such a good time yesterday. I like spending my money as well. Because we went out with friends and I was the one who paid for like the bottle of Prosecco and stuff. And I paid for like the extra side dishes to share. I like I like sharing my money. I, at some point, I'm going to die. So what's the point of dying and having all this money, you know? I might as well spend it and have a good time. That's what I like doing. If I have money to spend, I like spending it with friends and having a good time and creating good memories. And, uh, last night, I I felt like it helped create a good time and create good memories. I also bought a drink for someone who doesn't drink. And they started to like drinking. So, you know, peer pressure. So we've got the Americans moving in. They've uh, found a little funnel into the uh, railway section of Caratan. They do need to start pushing down them and clearing out the German resistance. It's a shame that we have some server issues and we are lacking players tonight. So we haven't got the uh, the full roster that we're used to. But nevertheless, still plenty of players to uh, put on a show tonight and have a good time. And show another side of Postscript and that isn't really shown. Uh, the armor overhaul that came out of Postscriptum, huge success. I've not noticed many bugs with it. I think it's rolled out quite cleanly. Obviously, they spent a long time developing it, and it went through a lot of Q&A and public tests. And it rolled out pretty effectively. Um, I've enjoyed it massively. Um, it, and the community seems to be very engaged with it and enjoying it as well. Um, player numbers haven't been this high for Postscriptum in a very long time. There's more than 10 servers full at a time. Like, holy shit. Can you imagine that for Postscriptum? Um, I, I think every day it's been over a 1,000 players concurrent, which is incredible. Hopefully that carries on, and this is just the start of an onward trend of increasing uh, player numbers. But something that isn't shown a lot for these new people who are getting the game while it's on sale and while there's this big update that's just come out that's fresh. A lot of people don't know this. These uh, community-driven events, these One Life events, competitive matches, the Kubel Wagon Cup, which is just a fun little community thing. Uh, a lot of people miss out on like this, this more to Postscript than just looking at the servers and joining another offensive public game mode. There's so much more that goes on. There's these community events that are, that are run all the time. And uh, it's nice to, to be part of this and try to drag more people and show off a side of Postscript that most games don't have and will never have. You will never get stuff like this for Battlefield or Call of Duty. You know, you don't get these events for stuff like that. And if you do, they're very limiting and they're very, eh. They're very, you know, you don't, they don't. You don't have the freedom that Postscript offers with the SDK allowing modders to create completely new content for their own uh, desires. You branch off of them to the houses? Why, what was I saying? I'm hungry. This is why I hate having a delay because I don't know what's being said. Got a little bit of close contact going on here. It's the fish yeah. GB division. They can yeah. hear movement near them. Close north, direct north in the city. That was a friend. nice shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? Andre Law 15 subscribed. 
bro. Andrill, thank you for the prime. I'm sorry there's a five minute delay. Much love to you, my guy. That's put us up to 25. Thank you for the sub. All the love. All the support. All the appreciation, man. Thank you for that. I hope you enjoy this content, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you for uh, giving me your prime. Mwah. Much love to you, my guy. How are you doing? How's the day? How's your day been? How's your weekend been? How's your week been? And thank you very much, man. Uh, if you guys are wondering what the next sub goal is, at 50 Twitch subs, I will be doing a mukbang stream. I know, it's going to be amazing. Uh, and now that I got my first paycheck, I'm going to make good on a um, a stream that I promised to do, which was a workout stream. I'm going to be doing a uh, dancing stream. But we'll talk about that later because there's a lot of action going on right now. The BR1 have done a big flank through the north side of Karatan. And you can see them slowly pushing in to the uh, garrison defenders. They've kind of created a wall of fire here along this row of buildings below us. You can see all the red names in this row of buildings here trying to push the uh, Germans out on the south side. Did my meal stay down? Yes, it did. The meal stayed down. I uh, I didn't even have a hangover. I handle rum and whiskey very well. Um, I don't get drunk off of them that easily. I do drink a very lot. We've got a lot of street-to-street -street combat going down here. As Thrall and the Drew are under fire from an MP40. Cry Wolf and the Partisans. The Partisan squad have come in on the flank. They're trying to deal with the Americans. A little bit of a counter flank going on by the German garrison defenders. As Cry Wolf is continuing his little push around here. That MP40 is so devastating up close. Thompson versus MP40. It's the MP40 that wins that fight. You see Mansour... Matador with that brown and machine gun firing through the uh, doorway there. Unable to get the kill though on Crywolf. And Fred and Matador are retreating. They're standing side by side now trying to watch the doorway. As a lot of the uh, American attackers here have gone down to the garrison. But just at the same time, you can see there is more reinforcements coming in for the Americans. Pushing through the south now. As all the German garrison forces have pretty much averted their attention from the south. And they're having to deal with this big flank that came in from the north. See, the partisans are on that good flank here. Fire from the machine guns. As muzzle blast goes out there, you can see the smoke from the muzzles just filling up the streets. As Doom from the partisans, he was the one to go down there. And the partisans are retreating back just a little bit. Crywolf has isolated himself, though, on the flank. He has got that MP40. We'll have to see what he does. Oh, the last bullet for Livingston. Crywolf dropped his bomb. The last bullet in his grand. You heard the ping afterwards. And Matador actually goes down from that blast. See, Liverton retreated a very long way there. He's got his bayonet attached. <laughs> Adams, Fred, and Livingston, the only Americans alive who pushed in from the north. In the south, we've got a little bit of pushing. A few red spokes have gone out, but the uh, remaining garrison forces here, you can see the Germans have fallen all the way back onto this row of buildings now below us. You see Easy Company there, the Easy Company members, holding up that large four-story building with that MG42 inside. Liverson, he gets tagged there. He was surrounded on both sides. As I think Adams is the only one alive now. He's stuck on the street on his own. I need to sneeze. I'm sorry. I should have muted my mic. Adams... Crawling through the streets on his own now. The rest of his squad have gone down. Did someone just say blowjob? Oh, Flojo. Uh, 
Oh, Fred is still alive. Sorry, Fred. I completely forgot about you, my guy. The electrical poles. Yeah, what are they for? France doesn't have electricity. Meanwhile, the uh, PIB members been pushing in a team kill there from Rez. Shooting Plato. Plato just getting the kill on Antria. And then a little bit of a... I think that was panic fire from Rez there taking down Plato. Unfortunate for him. You can just see his mark left. <laughs> the graphics on this game sometimes. I hope... At some point, the player models get a graphical update, especially their faces. I feel like that what that would be a, a next good thing for Periscope to maybe focus on at some point. Updating the player models. Just the faces, making the faces look a little bit nicer. And like the the skin of their hands, it looks a little bit weird at times. See Mafia's there. Radio man for the German. He can hear footsteps. They can both hear each other nearby. Rez going on the inside, walking on wood. Maf must have heard him. Rez hasn't been quiet. He's been stomping his feet. He's watching that doorway, though. If Maf steps around this door, he goes down. Rez was just waiting. That was some good. A good little bait and switch there. I think it was Benny shooting down the road onto mass position. Forced mass to move right into the uh, iron size of Rez. You see the German garrisons. They've got a few reinforcements moving into the uh, town of Caritan now. After clearing up that, at some point Fred and Adams did go down. Partisans did clean out the last of the uh, Allied resistance coming through the north. And the uh, German reformers are coming in and are going to help them secure the town again. The push that was coming in from the south kind of been uh, halted for the most part. Benny and uh, List, Listy, Liste, List, still alive. And you've got Rez over here. He's on his own. No doubt suffering from some uh, emotional turmoil after taking down his friend in uh, some panic-friendly fire. He's just waiting for some friends to join him. What? Who's spamming me in my Discord? Stop. 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 The cry wolf and Atria are back. Rez just holding his position in the corner here. Parsons clearing out the room. Flushing a grenade in first. If Rez just stays still, he might get a couple more kills there. And there he does. He gets, he gets entry again. But oh, he walks into the room and Crywolf is there with his MP40. Rez goes down. Medic, San and 30 minutes left for the Allies. To secure Karadan. And they are under a lot of pressure right now. As the Germans have got fresh reinforcements, a fresh garrison has moved into the town. Smoke's going out here as PIB on the Allied side are trying to push forward. A few smoke screens going out. Red smoke, white smoke. Jackson with a big grenade there. Jackson with two big grenades. Completely decimates the assault that was coming in from the south. Major, major Walmart brand Metallica. Golden Arrow and Benny all go down there as Jackson style pushing up with the partisans behind him. Throws those two big grenades. You see the partisans on the flank as well. Crywolf MP40 in hand. He takes down Bopak and Drummer. And the allies with their pushing the south have been completely wiped out in a matter of seconds. More grenades going out there just to make sure there's no one left. Only Mike Bluestar left alive from PIB. He's going to have to retreat and make his way back. To the rest of his platoon. If he can make it, you can see you can see the bullets flying around in there, moving along the trenches. Uh, List is actually I, don't, I had I had no idea how to pronounce this name. It's not even a name. This is just a this is just someone's just gone on their keyboard and just gone. That's his name. I'm sorry. It just is. How do List? List. He's trapped on his own. He did take down Jackson, though, by the looks of it. 
I'm good, thanks. I'm enjoying the uptick in the server population for the new patch. I'm good to hear, man. Thank you again. Thank you for the prime. Really do appreciate it. And yeah, I think everyone, I think all the old players, like the veteran players of like this patch has just been a, a breath of fresh air. It's completely shook up the meta. It's revived the game, bringing so many servers online. Basically, it's increased the player population by 10, uh, 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 10 times. It's been absolutely incredible, being well received. Everyone's enjoying it. Uh, it's not just like the tanks as well that have been changed. It's the, the complete redesign of how offensive the popular game mode is played. It's shook up the meta and it's just made the game, at least in the games that I played so far. Granted, it hasn't been many, it's only been a dozen. It's just made it way more entertaining and interesting. Nice to see more than two at the service. Exactly. List is holding the doorway best he can. Probably not the best angle to watch. There. If two people rush in, he might be in trouble. As uh, we had a uh, PIB lucky was who was retreating, he gets met by the partisans, and he goes down. All right, I'm giving you safety to the west. Thank you, west is clear. Look at this, man. Look how close this German garrison is to one trapped American soldier. Thank you very much, medic. Thanks, man. The moment one German walks past this door, he's that's it. Game is over for this uh, American. Are they going to walk by or are they just going to pick up their wounded and retreat back? They have no idea he's there. Partisans are swarming everywhere. The German defensive garrison. Oh, will Flo Joe be the one? Will Flo Joe be the one? No. As the Americans are pushing in over there, you can see Flo Joe is so close to the door. The Americans are pushing in from the west side. You see casualties going down there. How? As, that is absolutely incredible. That this hasn't been detected. Or hasn't had the need to fire. Everyone has just avoided his door. You can see the Americans have been trying to push in. They've got another uh, 30 cal brown in position. They actually managed to kill the MG42 gunner. You can see uh, uh, Nipai has gone down from the easy squad. He's been sprayed down by that uh, brown in 30 cal. And the partisans are pushing out once again. They're going on the counter attack. As there's a big allied push here from the BR1 and PIB combined. Jackson style, he goes down. Lieutenant Doom, he goes down. As the allies were kind of expecting a counter attack to come in. Green Weenie, he goes down. Keep it. Every time someone says Flojo, to me it just sounds like blowjob. I'm just. I'm just saying. Oh, Matt over that 30, uh, 30. Baron giving away his position. He gets uh, shot straight in the head right there. And Fred trying to peek the angle. He gets sprayed down there by that SG44. See, there's been a lot of casualties here again for the Allies as they were trying to push. But at the same time, also Germans, the easy guys. On the German garrison, they also lost a lot of casualties. Still a lot of allies left in this fight. The partisans on their counter flank have also suffered casualties. You see Jackson, uh, Doom, and also Ashtree both gone down. List still hiding. I, I, bro, I can't blame him. If, if, if I was him in that situation, I would be shit to myself, and I would not be breathing. I would just be stood perfectly still. So who can blame him? Honestly surprised. He actually might get a kill here. Ooh, that would have been a, a clean kill, but he's holding his shots. Maybe he didn't have the uh, angle, or maybe he just wants to be patient, not give away his position. What is the rules on uh, new platoons coming in? 
Um, so both teams have a sp specific number of respawns they're allowed to call in. I'm not going to tell you, tell you what they are because um, they hide how many t how many each team has from the other team, so the other team doesn't know how many reinforcements, you know, and vice versa. Um, but for a team to get a fresh respawn wave, all they have to do is have their team commander say um, next respawn wave and then they're, all their team is allowed to respawn. And how they do that, they just put in team chat, next respawn. There's an admin, you can see the admin, Mr. Tycho and uh, uh, Cry, uh, Cry Renek. They're, they're admins and they will keep count of how many respawn waves have been used by both teams. And uh, they'll let the uh, team commander know how many respawn waves they have left. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. It's basically, think of it like a Dungeons Dragons style uh, uh, adventure. You have these people, the admins who oversee the event, and they'll occasionally shake things up. They'll do like an announcement, a broadcast saying, hey, uh, you know, X event has happened. This is now happening and stuff like that. Depends on the event organizers as well. Sometimes both teams know exactly what the other team has in their arsenal. Sometimes it's a complete secret and uh, neither team will know what the other team has in their arsenal. Whether that be, you know, if they have tanks, how many respawn waves they have, the kind of enemies they're going to be facing. You know, they're going to be fighting the Americans, the, the, uh, uh, the British, the French and stuff like that. So it's, it really comes down to the creativity of the event organizers and what they want to do. And also modders as well, because obviously uh, they a lot of the time they use the Postscript and Realism mod that has a lot of features that aren't in the base game. Uh, the Realism mod completely changes features of how the game is uh, works at its core, even to things like recoil of guns, ammunition count, uniforms. Everything is changed in the Postscript and um, uh, uh, Realism mod. Um, so yeah. I will say, though, time is running out for the Allies, and uh, they haven't had much success out of the initial starting stages of the event, uh, of the mission tonight. They've been uh, thwarted at every possible turn. Lys might finally have his team to link up with. He's been held out here for God knows how long on his own, but finally he's going to have some friendlies to meet up with. Sadly, I can't hear the uh, that team's communication, but I imagine he's uh, calling out. Cry wolf? Oh, cry wolf. Cry wolf with, two good, uh, with one good spray down there. Perfect timing from him. And it were of all people, he dies when he finally gets reunited with his team. He should have just stayed on his own. Are you kidding me? Of all people who went down then. That's that's a cruel twist of fate right there, man. That is a cruel twist of fate for Lyst. A list. Or however you pronounce his name. PIB trying to flank through here. They've uh, managed to secure a uh, ungarrisoned outskirts little farmstead. Good visibility for them. Able to fire into the courtyard opposite. You can see uh, Blowjob has gone down. Cry Wolf still alive. Another heavy machine gun in position. Drummer has gone down, but Bobak is still alive. His, uh, his spotter, the machine gun spotter, has gone down, but he's still got like, a 30 cal. Put some shots down there. A couple of gammon bombs going out as the uh, allies are trying to clear out this hedgehog. See the partisans of what remains of the German garrison, though, on Caritan are doing their best to hold back the Allied forces. Grand uh, Metallica, he goes down. He did take out the Hedgehog, though. He placed the uh, Satchel Charge just before he went down. So his sacrifice isn't in vain. There is still more rows, though, they have to play. You see the other Hedgehog right in front of me. As the partisans have retreated, along with the remaining garrison defenders for the Germans, they're kind of concentrated around this second hedgehog. And the German, uh, the uh, 
American soldiers now pushing strong. Down the road, smoke's going out, volume of fire. You can hear multiple machine guns firing below me, along with the rifle fire from the M1 Grand. But the German garrison is still putting up a valiant defense. Easy, partisan, 5th GB members all doing their best to hold back this, uh, this mass assault from the Allies. Cry Wolf is very close to the objective, and he's that MP40. He finally goes down. K for that Thompson. Lean peaks the corner. Cry Wolf goes down. And just sheer volume of uh, uh, suppressive fire going out. And that is uh, something you'll see a lot in these One Life events. Suppressive fire is so important. Um, if you can keep your enemies heads down, then obviously they can't return fire and it allows you and the rest of your team to advance, get into new positions. As the German garrison is doing their best to hold onto this final hedgehog here that uh, uh, holds back the allied armor rolling into Caratan. The 5th GB is the uh, the majority of the next line of defense. You can see a lot of 5th GB uh, members still alive. Couple of dots of partisans and easy members still alive, but it's mostly down to the 5th GB now for the uh, German garrison to hold on. 15 minutes left on the board. And you can see in the top corner, you can see respawn wave. That is the team commander. He's just called into a fresh batch of reinforcements. And there you can see them spawn on the map. So they're going to be rushing to try and get into the objective and hold it as long as they can. 5th GB moving in close around the objective. You can see Woody's actually on the roof there. 5th GB moving in close around the objective to try and make sure he doesn't get taken down. Wood, German commander. He's watching down the main road as well. Alright, so it, it's... Uh... The only window I can see upstairs. Uh, Good spot here from uh, the MG42. He's able to watch straight down this little back alley here. And he's perfectly positioned to hold back or at least suppress and delay the push coming in from the Allies on this flank. You see smokes going out from them across the little wheat field here. Lucky dodging a shot them from the rooftops or from the windows of Caratam. Palm Iagas flying over his head. BR1 are the ones pushing in from the uh, the road. Pib on the flank. 5th GB moving uh, their positions a little bit. Might have opened up a little gap here. But you can see the German garrison reinforcements flank, uh, flooding in once again. I'm quite sure what that explosion was. I think... Uh, Nervous Germans throwing in grenades as the BR-1 are starting to push in. PIB on the flank. Are the German reinforcements going to make it in time? Or will the Americans take out the next hedgehog and open up the route for their tanks to stop flowing into the town? See the BR-1 very close. Maths around the corner. He gets sprayed down by that Thompson. Ward on the rooftop. He's going to be actually the, the, the most vital person here. If he's able just to spray down with his MP40 around the hedgehog, he might be able to hold it. He's be able to run very close here. Ooh, one grenade from Wood would be perfect right now. Thrown into this little courtyard here. See, PIB have actually managed to infiltrate round on the flank as well. They found a hole... On what side of the town would that be? The east side of Caratan. They managed to find a hole and they're starting to get into the flank of the German garrison. You can see the German garrison forces are trying to flood in, but will they be able to get there in time? Blow job from the part of is the closest one. If he gets a grenade around this corner, that would be huge. There's no spacing going on at the moment. You can see grenades are raining down from the German. There's no spacing. For the BR1. And that's a big grenade right there. I saw it land right in the bush. Huge grenade there. And the BR1 with no spacing. Getting taken out by those defensive grenades. PIB still have members alive though. They've done a good job taking out the 5th GB defense on this corner. See more reinforcements flooding in for the allies. 
time isn't in their favor at this point. X from BR1, the only one alive here. He's got that Thompson, great close quarter weapon. But he's going to need a little bit of help taking out this Hedgehog. We've got a couple of PIB members still alive. We've got Lucky, uh, Lice, Mike, Blue Star. And we've got another little skirmish going on here as a second... Uh, what would this be? This would be a, a new wave of American Allied soldiers pushing in on the western side. They've been met by partisans who have a little, little outcropping of defenders here watching the western flank and they're doing a good job holding the western flank. They've got an MG42. You just saw that. Matt Dill got sprayed down by that MG42. They've got some riflemen in the windows. Great position for this MG42. Let me just hide names for a second so you can see the visibility. Look at this for the MG42 out of this window. Able to watch the western flank perfectly here. And with a couple of spotters nearby, radio man and two riflemen, he's got himself in a prime position. Couple more soldiers pushing down here, coming straight down the main road. You've got Big Ass Burger, Liverson and Golden Arrow. They're just trying to get towards the uh, Hedgehog. Clear it, allowing their Shermans to no doubt roll and whoosh down the town. Major, major and drummer here on the flank, trying to meet up with the rest of the PIB. I feel like the German defense is getting very, very thin here as they're trying to weather the storm the best they can. A couple of those partisans defenders over there on the flank have gone down. I believe the MG gunner went down. Big shot there from uh, Flojo gets the kill on Major Major. As the Americans have thrown whatever they have left in the last few minutes of the game. Fred Richard Adams. Oh, it's not Richard. It's uh, Fred Rickard. Smoke's going out. A silence has fallen. No gunshots going on at the moment. Cave from the BR1 managing to break into the uh, enemy uh, German defenders' lines here. He's managed to get into this large three story, taking out the MG gunners. That's going to be crucial for the rest of the Allied soldiers to push uh, up from the south. Cave with that uh, Thompson is going to be uh, very hard to dislodge. Just on board Cry Wolf here. Cry Wolf very close. Did he just throw a grenade? He did throw a grenade. Lice went down. Drummer dropping down over to the other side of the hedge. Got himself a nice little cut down. That is a good corner to be in. Got the German commander with his MP40 now on the rooftop. He's doing his best to try help. Long distance for the MP40, but he's doing his best to try. Just keep back. You can see the... Uh, the nameplates over there in the distance. He managed to get a couple of casualties and a couple of wounds there. That MP40, long distance, but still doing a good job to suppress. A little pickle goes down. So now Partisan's wood commander for the Germans. The garrison commander here at Carantan doing his part to try to hold on and with pal, uh, with, uh, with hell. With, with pal? Repel. Repel. I got that eventually. The, uh, the American assault. Drummer moving from his corner. My God, there's so many times like this where it's like two players are literally just like they're the five yards apart, but they've got the back to each other. Like all it would take is just one of them to turn around. It happens so often. We've got suppressive machine gun fire going down now from uh, the road. You can see those uh, Browning machine guns firing straight down the road. Flojo goes down. The uh, German garrison very very thin at this point, down to maybe about ten. But there's only... It's got to be about five minutes left in the event. Drummer missing his shots there. The pin goes out. His position is known. Barber peeks the corner. He hears the pin. He hears the, the ping of the uh, the Garand magazine being uh, ejected. And he takes it. Livingston rushing forward here. 
Does he have the satchel to throw? Machine gun firing straight down the street. Look at that suppressive fire going on at the moment for the uh, Americans. And I've got to say, with the amount of reinforcements trickling in for the Americans, I don't think the Germans are going to be hold, uh, able to hold this tide any longer. Five minutes left. The uh, Carrollton garrison is just down to a handful of uh, people with this uh, reinforcement wave. Crywolf, he gets tied from the side. Livingston flanking well here, watching the uh, hedgehog now. Gabriel, in front of me, in front of me. Cheeto and the barber still alive. MG42 firing from down the road, trying to return some uh, suppressive fire, getting himself into a good position here. But once again, you can just see the superiority of the uh, American arsenal, the the uh, semi-automatic rifles, the machine guns just firing down the road. Overwhelmingly garrison. That Carrington has wood has gone down, the German commander. The final few soldiers are pushing into the objective here for the garrison. You can basically see what remains of the German garrison right below us now. As anyone being called from all over the town of Carrington just to push forward and hold in the last few seconds. Barber, he goes down. BL1 pushing forward. Crouch, he gets sprayed down as he pushes in the open. Smoke's going out. Just hide the names. As we basically just got a very close quarter fight going on now. Firing straight from down the street. You can see the MG32 right there on the corner of the road. As the Americans are pushing all over. I love the lighting updates, man. It makes the game look so much nicer. Even on these chapter 3 maps. These chapter 3 maps already look very good. They look even better now. And there it goes. In the last couple of minutes, I believe the Americans managed to take out the Hedgehog. Bodies just thrown aside, uh, thrown at each other. And I think that is game within the last couple of minutes. The Allies managed just to get it with the final wave. They were, both teams were out of reinforcements. They used all their waves. Let's just have a look at the kill balls quickly. So on the German side, we've got 86 kills to 62 deaths, 109 wounds, 20 revives. Incredible game for the Germans. They just lost it in the last couple of seconds. On the Allies, we have 45 kills to 99 deaths, 70 wounds and 18 revives. So you can see the Germans inflicted way more casualties onto the uh, the Allies. Uh, highest kill, we've got 11 kills here with Livingston. And on the uh, German side, we've got seven here with Laos. Six here with Cheeto. And uh, seven here with Mauser. Great game, I've got to say. I, I love these one-life events, and I feel with the armor overhaul that's come out, they're only going to get better and better now. Um, as always, if you just watch this on YouTube, I'm sorry that I'm lacking a little bit of energy tonight. I think I'm coming down with a cold, and I'm still recovering from yesterday. But nevertheless, like the video, subscribe, and I will see you next time, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Much love. And a big thank you to last month's Twitch subscribers. Willdale303, Yetus McFeeter69420, MLG, Yusus, Epics True, Just Press underscore, Hinkle underscore, Bormhauser, Coeyboy013, Lazy Titanium145, Skyros, IR9 underscore, Lysander, Liberated, Mutlurk, Case25, KaiserNG, JabesMX, Merpinator, The CJ Reed, Callum Derp, Morning Calf, Tom the Milkman, Unheroic Isaac, Luna the Gamer Fox, Sash 363 VD, Bored Out of My ha Head, Call Me Davro, Bro Lifer, and It's Carl's Design.